Hi, I'm Tito and this is Quarter Scale Racing 101. This is going to be a tech video. Uh, we're going to give you a tech tip on how to find the spring rate on springs that you might have not uh, not too certain what they are. So with that said, um, you'll need a drill press, preferably one with a limiter stop. Some people could use, uh, I've seen them use valve spring testers and they've used arbor presses. Uh, I well, I've got the drill press right here, right in front of me, and it has a limiter stop, so it's super easy. On top of that, you're going to need a scale that can handle the weight. Uh, you might have a kitchen scale or the scales that you're using to corner balance your ride with. Uh, just make sure that you can carry up towards the 30 plus pounds you're going to need for the springs. So let's... Uh, begin so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a spring you're gonna set it down and uh, you're gonna lower the chuck just to the point where it kisses the spring at that point you're gonna set the limiter stop for one inch of travel so I got a limiter stop up here with my fingers at can you catch it? no yeah but uh, it's already set so um, once it's set, you just center the spring and come right down on it. And you can see this orange spring, according to the literature, should be an 8-pound spring. We're at 7 pounds 9 ounces. We got a blue spring. I believe they went up by 2 pounds. So this should have been, no, I lied to you, this blue spring should be a 12-pound spring. Um... And it's giving me 12 pounds, 6 ounces. So this one's actually showing a heavier rating than it's actually rated at. White spring here would be a 14 pounder. According to the literature. And it's actually pretty accurate at 14 pounds, 1 ounce. Red spring was rated at... 16 pounds, so we're just a little over. Green spring is rated at 18 pounds, so let's see where the green spring gives us. Um, 17 pounds, 11 and a half ounces. Purple spring. Purple springs are rated at 20 pounders. So, let's see what the purple spring gives us. 19 three ounces so it's not too bad um, here what you want to see is the difference between springs too uh, this spring versus this spring you're gonna see a difference so usually a little bit of a difference between springs as well so that one's 20 pounds 1.7 ounces so this one's just a tad heavier black spring was at 22 pounds so 21 and 4 ounces is not bad at all. This should be a 24 pound spring. Yeah, this would be a 24 pound spring coming in at uh, a little light at 22, almost 23 pounds. So 23 pounds. Uh, gold ones are next. Gold should be a 26 pound spring. And that one is 25 and uh, 12 ounces so anyways this is how you would check your springs so the one thing about all of that is you are going to have to have a standard one that you do know what it is or it's supposed to be and then once you have that you establish your standard spring uh, you can move up and down from there and see what everything else is at all right thanks